Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, we got something uh, pretty special to show you all. So, back in 2003, uh, Halo 1, or rather Halo Combat Evolved, was ported to Windows, to PCs. And this PC version was ported by Gearbox. And the PC version, it, uh, it was actually pretty cool that it got ported. It had a lot of features to it that uh, the original Xbox version didn't have. It had online multiplayer, it had a couple new multiplayer maps as well, and you know, back then it was pretty great. But this port was not perfect. In fact, the PC version of Halo 1 had a lot of issues back then, visually and gameplay. But a lot of those visual differences actually eventually made it into the classic graphics of Halo 1 on the Master Chief Collection. And for a long time, the graphics were pretty broken on MCC for Halo 1 and other games too. But they were eventually fixed, but they were broken because MCC used a port of the PC version, which is why those issues carried over. Now there were other ports of the PC version, and in fact the one we coming for this video is the Mac port, the Apple Macintosh OS port. This version of Halo 1 was released on December 14th, 2003. And of course, the original game was developed by Bungie. And then, like I said, later it was ported to PC by Gearbox. But as for the Mac edition, well, that was ported to Mac by a company called Westlake Interactive. And then, of course, it was published by Microsoft Game Studios and a company called MacSoft. It is literally a port of a port. A Mac port of the PC port of Xbox. Now, before I show you guys what this game is like today in 2022, I'm first going to show you guys what the game was like back when it first launched, or as close as I can get to it. And I'll be using an older version of macOS to show you. And I'll be using specifically macOS Snow Leopard. And the reason why I'm using this version is because it's kind of like the last version of macOS to kind of support certain features to enable all versions of the Mac version to run, whereas later versions are missing certain things. So anyways, when we launched the Mac version of Halo 1, You'll notice we get a launcher here that actually has a lot of options for different settings. We could turn on different hardware shaders, like advanced shaders. Uh, we could change the quality of lens flares, of model details, uh, anti-aliasing levels. We can run the game in a window, and there's also an option for a time demo and a developer console. I'll explain what the time demo is a little bit later, but it's, a, it's actually a very interesting feature. But first, let's go in-game. So this is the main menu. Obviously the UI is the exact same as the PC version. And you know, it has, it actually has a couple features that the uh, regular PC version didn't support. Like it actually supports 1080p resolutions. Whereas on the Windows version, I could not get it to 1080p without installing like some third party hacks. I think like 1600 by 900 was pretty close to the limit. Maybe a little bit higher than that. There's one weird thing about the controls though. Uh, the enter key for some reason is not supported by the Mac version. I cannot press the enter key to do anything. I had to use the mouse click to navigate the menus. So that's a really weird quirk there, maybe a bug, but I'm not entirely sure why it does that. As for in-game, uh, in the cutscenes and stuff like that, you can see it looks fine compared to the PC version. Of course, it still has the same uh, visual issues and visual bugs as the PC version and you know the launch MCC version. Uh, but anyways, now I mentioned earlier about the time demo. So the time demo is actually a built-in benchmark tool for Halo, which is actually pretty pretty interesting because no other Halo PC version has a benchmark mode in it. Uh, a lot of PC games out there actually have like built-in benchmark modes, so you could you know run it and then see how well it runs on your hardware. But no Halo game has ever had that except for the Mac version. Now, of course, it's a pretty simple benchmark mode. All it does is it runs a few intro cutscenes from some missions, and then once it's done running that, it outputs the results to a text file uh, on your on your Mac. And let's uh, let's take a quick look at the text file. So here it is. These are the results, and each time you run it, it actually adds the results to that text file. Uh, but you can see here it has um, it tells you like what settings you use, the uh, results of your benchmark, the performance, and all that. So it's actually a pretty cool feature. Of course, I probably wouldn't use it to benchmark modern systems, but it's uh, still pretty cool. Now, there's also a demo version of the Mac version, and Snow Leopard is actually the last version that could run the Halo Mac demo. 
because, like I said, Snow Leopard is the last version of Mac to have certain features, namely Rosetta. But I'll cover that a little bit later. Now let's get to how it runs today, in 2022. The latest version right now is Mac OS Monterey. And well, on the latest version of Macs, Halo does not run at all. In fact, starting with Mac OS Catalina, Halo just never worked anymore. It, it completely, uh, it's not supported. Because, starting with Mac OS Catalina, 32-bit applications are no longer supported on Mac OS. And Halo happens to be a 32-bit application, so it just simply won't run. Therefore, the last version of Mac OS that can actually run Halo, the full version, I should say, is Mac OS Mojave. And that is what we have here. Mac OS Mojave. This version is the last version of Mac OS to actually support 32-bit apps. Of course, by this point, Apple was already starting to phase out 32-bit apps, which means there are a few things that are actually kind of broken with uh, older applications on Mojave. Now, one thing that is actually broken right away is the Halo demo. Actually, the Halo demo has been broken since Mac OS Lion, I believe, which is what came immediately after Snow Leopard. As you can see here, it won't run because it's a PowerPC application, and PowerPC applications haven't been supported since Snow Leopard. Because Snow Leopard had a tool called Rosetta, which is like an emulator to run older PowerPC applications from before uh, Apple switched to Intel Macs. And only the full version of Halo for Mac actually got an Intel version. And that's why I can still run on Mojave, but not the demo. Now let's actually go in game. So at first glance, it seems like it runs okay. But once you get to certain parts of cutscenes, oh my god, it is extremely broken. As you can see here, in just this scene alone, it's you already see a few issues. And in gameplay, I mean, you know, it, the gameplay works. I guess that's the most important thing, is that the game is playable. But visually speaking, this is more broken than the classic MCC version, the launch MCC version, and even the Gearbox version. It's a... Uh, you know, not only does it still have the same issues as the uh, original Gearbox port, but now, like, the graphics are all completely busted, really. Uh, it just doesn't render things correctly like it should. And you can see, like, a lot of the colors, like, the uh, the outfits that the crewman wears, uh, it, it, even, like, grunt armors. It looks like, I don't know, it just looks pastel-colored, almost. Or, like, like, it was colored in with crayons, even. And that's, a uh, you know, those are just minor bugs. There's still other major ones, like in this cutscene here. Master Chief looks completely wrong. His armor has like no details on it. Uh, the shaders are all messed up. His visor is just completely solid black. The, the gold visor is completely gone. Uh, it's just so many issues. This is all just the tip of the iceberg, and I'll show a little bit. I'll show a little bit more of all the issues in a little bit, but you get the gist here. Especially if Master Chief's armor is just way off. But what's interesting is that if you look in the game manual of Halo 1, in any version, Xbox or PC or Mac, you can see that um, the image of Master Chief is actually, like, look at this visor. This is from the game manual. They're using the broken version of Master Chief from the Mac version. Uh, so I I'm not actually sure why they had that version. It's, it's like, it's kind of odd, actually. But let's run the time demo now so you can see... Uh, how other missions work real quick. And you can see it's even more broken on some other missions, like the water in this scene. And um, uh, everything is completely broken here too. So I suspect the reason why this is so broken is because starting with Mac OS Mojave, the uh, Apple basically ended support for OpenGL, which is the uh, rendering API that I'm pretty sure the Mac version of Halo uses. And because they ended support for that version, uh, it's you know it technically still works on Mojave, but it's not supported anymore, and therefore a lot of things can't be broken because you know they didn't really care about it anymore. And likewise, you can see here in gameplay, you know it's not just cutscenes that are broken; all the trees are missing on the mission Halo. Like they're, they're not just um, missing; they're actually just invisible. They can't be rendered in. Like you can see all these dark spots on the ground; the, the trees are still there; they're still solid. You just can't see them. And then. The water, as you can see, is broken. The skybox is totally broken there. See that water in the skybox? It's just pitch black now. And uh, the, 
the waterfall here, the little stream, it's it's just like it's like a light show going on there. So Mojave is the last version that can run Halo for Mac, and I use like run very loosely. But the last version that can run it properly without any issues is Mac OS High Sierra. That's the version that came before Mojave. That was back when OpenGL was still, you know, fully supported by Apple and not just like, you know, left there. And as you can see here, when we run the time demo again, you can see the graphics are now better. Well, actually, you know, they're, they're all completely fine now. There's no longer any noticeable major issues. Performance may vary between different versions of Mac OS, but as for like actual actually rendering things fine, it's um yeah it seems like high sierra like i tried several versions of mac os and really high sierra is like the last one i could use to to you know get things looking fine but mojave nope completely uh completely bad <laughs> and with that i can say that uh i mean you know if you keep your mac up to date you install the latest version of mac os you can't play halo at all in 2022 but if for some reason you have an older Mac and you stopped at Mojave or you have a slightly newer Mac and you just chose not to update from Mojave or some other older version, then you can still play Halo for Mac. And depending on which version of Mac OS you still have, your mileage will vary. But I can say that in 2022, with the latest Mac OS that supports Halo, it's, uh, it's probably the most broken version of Halo out there that has ever been released. <laughs> Even more broken than MCC at launch. And it's technically not, you know, the game's fault, because the game did run fine at launch in the older Mac OS versions. It's really Apple's fault. They completely broke support for all the things that um, Halo for Mac needs to run correctly. And of course, they eventually removed support for 32 bad 32-bit apps altogether, preventing Halo for Mac from even running at all in later versions of Mac. So, it's not that the game launched broken, it's just that uh, the game just isn't really supported anymore, and it's it's just kind of like dead, I guess, as far as support goes. So, you have to keep an older version of Mac OS around if you want to play it at all. And if you want to play the demo, you need an even older version of Mac OS on older hardware. So, is the game totally dead? Well, it's actually not entirely dead. There is a community called Halo MD, also known as Halo Mini Demo, and they actually have their own community-made tools for the Mac version of Halo, exclusively for the Mac version of Halo. The tool actually uh, it helps fix a lot of issues with the Mac version. Uh, it fixes some multiplayer issues, but it also fixes some bugs with the you know the graphics it fixes uh, shaders and stuff like that uh, but it does also provide mod support for the Mac version and it has a list of ma uh, mods there you could download it even has a server browser so you could see like who's playing right now and at the time I recorded this video there are only about eight people playing in one server but some people do still play from time to time and there are still dedicated servers being hosted to this day there's also a forum which hasn't seen too much activity lately. I think there's been like a couple posts in like the past like half year or so. But yeah, there is still a uh, semi-active community uh, that's still playing Halo for Mac. And unfortunately this tool doesn't, I don't think it fixes the issues with Mojave. Maybe it fixes some, but uh, it hasn't, it's changelog doesn't really say anything about Mojave. So I'm not sure how much it fixes. Uh, there, but you know, it, it, it's there's a community out there that still plays this game So the game is still somewhat playable in 2022 if you had the right version of Mac OS And there is still a community out there that is willing to, uh, to play the game still to this day So that is what the Mac edition of Halo is like and that's also what it's like now in 2022 So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting if you did then as always make sure to leave a like Leave a thousand comments, let me know if there's anything else we check out looking to. And aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!